my channel. It has been a while since I've had a chance to sit down and talk with you. I have been traveling like absolutely insane over the past month, once for my eyelash brand and then again last week to Bali for Active Escapes. So I have been in and out of the country like crazy. It's good to be back and finally unpacking my suitcase for once. So yeah! I wanted to do a makeup haul video for you today. I have a ton of stuff that I've kind of been collecting over the past two months-ish maybe even more because some of this I bought in Canada over Christmas holidays. I have been actually using it and finding out if I like it or not and then I haul it. That's kind of how I do my haul videos if you have not watched a makeup haul of mine before. I think it's a little bit more beneficial to you if you get a little bit of information about the product rather than me just going, hey, I bought this. So yeah, most of the stuff I've already tried and I have something really exciting to show you first, so I guess I will start with that. So the first thing that I want to show you in my haul today is something that I think you're going to be really excited about and I know I'm like, I can't even stop grinning when I'm thinking about it. I am so incredibly excited and proud to announce my eyelash line Socialize. Socialize is going to be available worldwide on the 28th of April on our website www.socializelashes.com and if you're in Australia it's .com.au but it doesn't really matter either which way. But yeah, this is my box and this is one of the styles of lashes that I will be offering. There is the back. I'm so stoked to finally share this with you guys. I've been like dying to tell you for ages and ages and ages. Please do sign up for the mailing list. It is on our website. That way I can let you know anything more about the launch date and I really would like to do a beta test with my Instagram followers. So if you follow Socialize on Instagram, you might be some of the first people to get these lashes in your hands even possibly before the 28th launch date. I've also set up a Facebook and a Twitter page for Socialize and it would mean the absolute world if you jumped on there and liked it or followed it. It really really helps me out so so excited to finally share this with you guys. Here's some more of my boxes and I cannot wait to put these in your hands in April. It is just a dream come true so yay that is the first item in my haul. Okay let's stick with eyes. I want to show you a palette that I ordered in September and I just got it like last month, eBay for you. Anyway, it is a real version of it, so don't worry, it's not fake, it just took for absolute ever to arrive. They screwed up on the shipping like a million times. Anyways, it is the Lorac palette. I've been wanting this for so long and I don't think Sephora sells it anymore, so that's why I had to go onto eBay. I've been using this like every single day since I got it. I love the colors in it. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times on YouTube, but holy cow, if you can get your hands on one, go buy it. I love the colors, super pigmented, and I've just been having so much fun with this palette. I totally recommend it. Probably like it a little bit more than the Naked palettes. All of them. Combined. <laughs> So yeah, this has been my absolute love. This next palette I received from one of my subscribers in Jakarta as a gift, so thank you so much if you're watching this. I absolutely love it. It is the Oriflame More by Demi palette. I didn't know Demi More did palettes, but apparently she's teamed up with this makeup brand to do a palette. And when you open it up, it comes in a velvet bag, which I thought was really nice. Good little touch. And I love the packaging. It's just gold and super pretty. I like gold packaging on things. The only problem is it gets really like fingerprinty, but whatever. And the palette itself looks like this. The only thing that I would say I'm not in love with about the palette is that everything is so small. There's a huge space for like the little brushes that they give you, but not very many people actually use the sponges or brushes, and obviously people buy the palette for the makeup. So some of these little things are absolutely teensy, but the colors are really, really pretty, and they're super pigmented, and I really like the color scheme. So thank you very much to my subscriber who picked this up for me because I've been loving it. Usually I don't get this many palettes, but I've wanted this one for quite a few months ever since I saw Makeup by Tiffany D use it because she was a partial creator in making it. And that is the Paris palette from Sigma. And you guys know I use Sigma palettes all the time, so this should come as no surprise that this is now in my collection. I think that the colors are super pretty. I really specifically wanted this one for these two colors and the blue. So maybe I will do a makeup look using this coming up. But yeah, I love it. I love the blush colors. I think it's just an all-around really pretty palette. A little bit clunky, a little bit big, so this one's definitely not one that I would be taking traveling. But it's good for a home palette. And I like it a lot. This next palette is something that I received in my P.O. box and huge thank you to whoever sent it to me. I think it was probably the company, but huge thank you anyways. I think a lot of you are going to get kind of excited when you see this. I'm going to put it up and see if you can guess by me just holding it up. Can any of you guess yet? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's a Divergent palette and if you've read the books you know that Divergent is a wicked trilogy. I've been absolutely loving it. I'm on the last one right now. I've been putting off reading it so I need to finish it. But it is stunning. It's a huge palette. Um, I actually was using one of the lip glosses, so it is out of there. 
comes with a brush and four lip colors and four palettes. So let's go through these palettes for you. Whoops. Hopefully I don't drop these. So the first one is the, I can never pronounce the actual homes of them. Okay. Abnegation. Is that how you pronounce it? hope it is because if not then I'm doing it wrong and it looks like this if you've read the books you kind of know that they're a very like I wouldn't say plain Jane but very non makeup y type um, sector in the book series so that's kind of reflecting in the makeup the second one is the Dauntless one and Dauntless is a little bit more tough and a little bit more rebel like and so the colors reflect that in this palette as well I think they're absolutely beautiful and I love 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 the end colors in all of them they're super pretty I don't know if you can like disattach this or anything but I don't want to pull too hard in case I break it but if you have this and you know like do these clip on and off let me know so I don't bust it the last one is the Aritude one and the colors are like that so I think out of all of them this one's probably my favorite color scheme but the last palette that there is isn't an eye palette, it's actually a cheek palette and I'm in love, I'm freaking in love, I'm wearing it today. It is this. This highlight color is like the bomb.com, be all end all, I love this. So loving this, cheek color, I'm wearing this one right now and I am wearing the bronzer today. Absolutely loving these, I think that this will be my go-to travel cheek palette. So thank you very much whoever sent this to me. And then the final four, where's the other one? final four lip colors are just kind of nudie and shimmery lip colors and these look like the hourglass packaging so does anybody know did hourglass do this whole setup because this looks exactly like the brand hourglass I don't know but I've definitely been using it I really like it and the color is really super pretty Mwah! and speaking of hourglass cosmetics when I was in Sydney in Mecca with my friend Renee we were talking about Jaclyn Hill because who doesn't she's amazing and I love her channel she always uses this product which is the ambient lighting powder and I was like okay well we should probably both buy it so Renee and I ended up buying it this one is the diffused light one and I kept the packaging so you can see what it looks like I've been using this every single day since I got it it looks like this it just really blurs your pores and kind of brightens up your under eye area if you're really pale you could probably use this all over your face because it does come off kind of sheer when you actually rub it in but I only use this underneath my eyes I love it it just makes the lines look like there's no lines it makes everything settle in and stay in place so I've been using this and I've been absolutely loving it I also picked up an hourglass lipstick while in Mecca this is the opaque rouge liquid lipstick 14 hour wear definitely definitely long wearing I really like that it goes on like a liquid lipstick or like a lip gloss and then it sets to a complete matte finish and the color is phenomenal you guys know that I am in love with these kind of reddy corally orangey colors and this like ticks all of my boxes so loving this I also picked up at Mecca something that I showed you guys in my bedtime routine video and if you haven't seen that I'll link it down below for you but that is the Dr. Lips nipple cream because it was nipple cream. How can you not buy something that is nipple cream? I thought it was so funny that I actually had to. Next from Mecca, I got a Stila lip color and it is in the color L and it is the Color Bomb lipstick. I love the feeling of this on my lips. It was like a lip balm, but it's super pigmented. So you can build the color up if you want or you can just put it on one big opaque coat, whatever you want. But the color is amazing. I think it looks so, so pretty and I had to have it. So yay for new lip colors. Okay, moving on. I got a couple things from MAC when I was in Canada. I just got replenish re replenishment? replenishments for things that I already use. I got the mineralized skin finish in medium. Usually I get medium plus, so I don't really know why I got medium. But here you go in medium. And I also got some more of the, what's some call it, concealer. Pro Longwear Concealer, that's the word, in NC20. It's really, really light. I use it underneath my eyeballs, it makes my eyeballs happy, and it is awesome for a primer. Also from MAC, I wanted to try the strobe cream, so I picked up some of that. It is like a illuminator that you put underneath your foundation or mix in with your foundation. I really like it. I try and avoid the middle of my face because as you can see, as the day goes on, my face gets a little bit sweaty in the middle, so I tend to keep this kind of focused on the outsides of my face. But I do really like it and I think it gives a nice little pearly sheen to my cheeks. And then I picked up four lip colors from MAC because I really like MAC lip colors and the colors are amazing. So I was looking for a nude one and to be honest, I almost think that this is a little bit too nude for me. It is called Blankety. This is what it looks like. Hold on, put my hand behind it. Um, I really like it but it's a little bit too cool nude. I do like to mix this with a little bit pinkier, neuter lip gloss to make it workable. But that was blankety and that is an amplified 
consistency? Is that the right word? I don't even know. Uh, the next one was one that I've been trying to get my hands on forever, and you guys probably know that. It was Heroin, and that is a matte color, and it is like bright freaking purple. I love this. I need to do a look with this. I'm going to do a Pantone color of the year eyes and lips look, so it'll be featuring this. Look out for that soon. And then the next color that I got is, um, is it Morange or Morange? I don't know. It is an amplified color again. It's orange. It's beautiful. I really wanted to get it because I like the Chi Chi lipstick. It is, I can't remember the name of it, but it's really close to this, but it wasn't quite this, so I needed to pick up Morange. And then the last one that I got was one that you guys ask me about all the time whenever I post photos with it. And it is in All Fired Up. It is a matte lipstick and it looks like this. It's like an off red, kind of like a berry red color. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And is it just me or do these lipsticks smell friggin' amazing? Finally from MAC I got a lip pencil and that was in Vino. You guys probably have already seen this on YouTube before. It is a dark purpley color like that. It's pretty. I'm going to wear that with Rebel. How original of me. <laughs> the next place that I shopped at was Benefit and I initially went in to get my eyebrows done and I walked out with a bag full of products as one does. So the first thing that I got was their brand new cheek stain lolly tint and I guess this can be used as like your lip stain as well but I like it best as a cheek stain and it's phenomenal. I think that this product is so super pretty. The packaging is really pretty too. Super cute little polka dots. But it looks like this, and I love it because it's like a gel stain. So when it comes out, it's almost like this weird kind of orchid color. But when you rub it in, it turns into the most pretty flushing color. You can build it up as strong as you want. I think this is just absolutely gorgeous. I wore it a lot when I was in Bali because I think that any type of cheek stain is perfect for hot or humid weather. It just stays on you better. But yeah, I've been absolutely loving this. I think it's a great product, and I'm really excited that I added it to my collection. The next thing that I got was a new professional product and you guys know I use the professional as a primer so I thought that this was really interesting. It is Agent Zero Shine and I have only used this twice and I used it in Bali and I think that everything anti-shine in Bali completely cancels out because it is so humid there and so sweaty. It's just like it's not even the product's fault if it doesn't do what it says it'll do. It's just Bali's fault because it's so sweaty. Ah, I can't get this out. <laughs> Hold on. How did I shove this back in there that good? Shit. Okay, let me go through the bottom. Oh, that's why, because I tried to shove the little thing in it as well. There we go. Okay, good to go. So I'm pretty sweaty right now. Let's see how this does. I will mop up some of my sweat with a tissue because you don't want to put it directly onto a sweaty face. If I had blotting pads, I'd probably use blotting pads, but I lost my purse when I was in Bali and my blotting pads were in my purse. Anyway, okay. So you open this up and it's a twist top type thing, so you can twist it open. I like just putting it onto my hand. And this product does come with a brush in the bottom, Whoop, like that. I don't really care if I use this one or my other one. I kind of like my other one better, so I'm going to use this other big one. And I'm going to pick it up and apply it a little bit more. It's definitely getting rid of the shine. All right. So maybe I will do a video showing you guys how long this actually works throughout the day, like if I have to touch up or anything. But for initial use, that looks like it works actually pretty well. What do you guys think? How freaking long is this haul? I apologize, I will not build up this many makeup products to show you at once ever again. I probably say that every single time, but I will try harder next time. The next thing that I got, I actually purchased while I was in Indonesia, so this is probably the one of the only things I actually got while I was traveling, and that is the Glam Glow Mask. I've heard so much hype about this, like everyone and their mother uses this. I, to be honest, do not think it's worth the hype. I hate to say it, I, I don't think it's a bad mask, I really don't, but it's just not the be-all, end-all mask that it has been marketed to me as. Maybe it's just my skin type, maybe it's just, I don't know, me, but... I just don't see what the fuss is. It was like 70 something bucks for like absolutely nothing. I've almost used the whole damn thing. Like look at it. I've almost used most of it and I don't know. It just doesn't really phase me that much. I've used, you know, other masks like the Cactus Skin Care one and I find that to be just as good if not better and it's like a quarter of the price. So I don't know. The jury's still out on this one but I would say try your friends before you buy just so you see if you like it on yourself or not. I do, however, really like the smell and I like how you can kind of see if you do have like big pores or something, you can see like the oil coming out of it, but 
really hasn't helped my skin get any better and it really hasn't made my skin any worse so I'm kind of on the fence about this one but yeah that was that and I ran out of the cactus skincare lemon myrtle cleanser so I picked up some more of that and I have a couple more drugstore things to show you and some hair things and then we are done I promise Ugh. at the drugstore I picked up the essence super fine eyeliner pen I haven't had a chance to use this yet because again I'm going through some other eyeliners so I'll let you know how I like this when I use this and I went eyeliner crazy if you can't already tell picked up two more. I got the L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense Felt Tip one, and then I also got the L'Oreal Carbon Black Intense Liner Brush Tip one. Wanted to compare which one I liked more, so I will let you know which of these two I like more. I also picked up two mascaras, and they're both from the Essence brand again. One of them is the Essence Get Big Lashes, and you guys would have seen this in videos because I use it quite often. I really, really like it think that it's really similar to the Dior Show and the Jordana's Best Lash Extreme. It just has a little bit bigger, fatter brush. It's a big one! And I also picked up the Get Big Lashes Waterproof. And I hate to say it, I hate the waterproof formula. Waste of time, don't buy it. This one, however, go for it, go get it. It's really good, it's like two bucks. The next thing that I want to show you is something that my friend Renee showed me and I'm going to let you in on a big secret because these things are the bomb.com and your hair will never be the same. Probably will be the same, but it'll look a lot better when you do a messy bun. These. I bought like a million of them. Have you seen these before? They look like those lame things that you put like keys on when you're a manager at a store. Anyways, these are phenomenal for putting your hair up. Like you can make the biggest, messiest, most amazing bun in these and it holds it there and it doesn't hurt your head at all. I've been obsessed over these. I don't think I've used a regular ponytail in like weeks other than like if I braid my hair or something because then that looks kind of weird if you're like <laughs> But for on top of your head, these are like absolutely amazing. Try and find yourself some. I don't really know what the brand is because they were just kind of in a dollar store and I picked up a bunch of them. But yeah, these are amazing. You need to try these. Last but not least, I picked up a couple new hair products when I was at the salon. The first one being Moroccan oil. You guys know I've been using this for years and years. I get the light formula and I love it. I think this is such a beautiful product for hair and I probably would never live without it. Love this. Next product I got was a refill of the Natural Look Static Free. And by refill, I just mean new bottle because I've repurchased this probably six times, seven times now. Really like it. It smells like oranges, makes your hair nice and shiny and smooth and pretty. And I love it. My hairdresser recommended this and she couldn't have been more correct. It's a good product. The last product that I picked up, I promise it is the last thing that I will show you and then I will shut up and you can turn this video off. It is the Sea Salt Sea Air Mist from Juice for Thirsty Hair. I've never really seen this brand but I saw it on the shelf and I wanted to try a sea salt spray so here it is. I've used it once. I didn't use it when my hair was actually like beachy texturized. I used it on straight hair. It didn't really work that well on straight hair, but I think it would work really well on wavy or curly hair. So I will probably use this and let you guys know if I end up liking it. But do you have a sea salt spray that you recommend? I wanted to get my hand on the Bumble and Bumble one, but it was out at Mecca. So I don't know. Is there a specific, specific brand that you recommend to me? I am losing all English skills, so it's probably a good time to end the video. So that is the end of this ridiculously large makeup haul. I hope that you enjoyed it and found some new products to either try or borrow from friends or what have you. Don't forget to check out Socialize. Please, please, please. I would really appreciate it if you did follow on Instagram and everything else. This is now on my thumb. I'm ready to put my hair up and not talk about videos anymore and edit this and go and eat some dinner. And I love you. I will talk to you soon. I will see you in my next video. <laughs>